Welcome, gentlemen, to the first installment of Sharp Dressed Man. I'm Connor Tarter, your host, and today I'd like to talk to you about the formula that I have created to make sure your dress clothes fit well. Why should your clothes fit well? I can tell you. Your dress clothes should fit well because people will take you seriously. You can look like a million bucks in a suit that costs you $200, or you can look like you're wearing an oversized garbage bag that you paid five grand for. Make sure that the clothing fits you before you leave the store. How do you make sure something fits you? Well, that's where the formula comes in. A dress shirt and slacks will make a great outfit on just about anyone. This simple outfit isn't as simple as just hopping in your nearest department store, picking up the first thing you see in your size and walking out looking like you know your favorite movie star and it takes a little bit of scrupulous fitting first for the shirts gentlemen when you pick up a shirt that you like a lot of the time it's going to be size like you're used to small medium large extra large but it, that doesn't mean that you can just pick your size and it'll fit wonderfully First of all, the collar. When you try the shirt on, you should be able to take an index finger, stick it between the collar and your neck, and if you can pull it any more than a centimeter or two away from your throat, then it's too big. If it's difficult to fit your finger in there, guess what? It's too small. The shoulders. The shoulders should hug yours. They should be form-fitting, but not skin-tight. The whole shirt shouldn't be skin tight, but it should be form fitting. There's a difference. Obviously, like I said before, it's not going to do this right off the rack, so you may have to go to the tailor. It's an extra step, but it's a step that's going to make all the difference. The sleeves, another area that I, I would like to talk to you about. The sleeves should come right up to your wrist. They shouldn't go over your hand at all, and they shouldn't stop short of, of where your hand begins. It should be exactly where the hand starts. You couple all these things with a length that is suitable to be tucked into your pants and you've got a good looking shirt. Of course, there are going to be the times where you're in between sizes. If you're normally a small and the small is too small, meaning that the collar is choking you, go for the medium. Go up a size and have the tailor cut it down. This is because tailors can can help. They can't work magic though. They can take you down from a medium to a small or a large to a medium, but they can't really take you up from a small to a medium. It's much easier to cut clothes down. You may have to go for the medium when you're actually a small or a large when you're actually a medium. It may feel weird, but the tailor will help. On to slacks. Slacks are a little bit simpler. It's essentially length and waist. The waist should be able to hold the pants up without needing a belt, but it shouldn't cut into the side and it shouldn't cause muffin top. The length should break right at your shoe, but shouldn't wrinkle, so don't make it bag. But it shouldn't stop before you get to the shoe. These are just some basic rules that I've created to help you make sure that you're dress essentials fit you perfectly. Until next time, my name's Connor Tarter and this is Sharp Dress Man.